Hello, ladies and gentlemen, toy enthusiasts, and those new to Tough Nerd Toys LLC. I'm your host, Uncle Nerd, and welcome to another exciting episode of Bust It Open. Busting it open since 2007, and today we'll be reviewing Marvel Legends series X-Men Kitty Pride. Catherine Kitty Pride first appeared in the X-Men comic in 1980. A very young scholar, she was enrolled in college courses at 13. It was around this time that Kitty began suffering crippling headaches, the very beginning of her, of her emerging powers. Unaware of her mutant status until a faithful visit from Emma Frost, then white queen of the Hellfire Club, Kitty had no inkling of what was to come. During this visit, Kitty's headaches was worse than ever and she retired to her room to rest. Upon awakening, she realized she was in her living room. This was the first ever manifestation of her power. It wasn't until a visit from Professor Xavier shortly after that Kitty was prompted to realize her full potential. She proved herself an asset helping toward an attack by the Hellfire Club and thus began her career with the X-Men. As part of the X-Men, Kitty was an integral part of many a victory. Her ability to move herself through solid objects proved useful in covert missions, as did her ability to interrupt electrical current. However, there's much more to Kitty. An incredible intellect, Kitty is proficient in the computer sciences. She's fluent in multiple languages such as Japanese, Russian, and the alien language she are, as well as expertise in Hebrew, German, and many more. In continuing her education, she studied martial arts with Wolverine and also took dance for many years. With all these qualities and intellectual characteristics, there is no doubt her important role to the X-Men and the Marvel Universe. So what we're going to do is check out the package, bust it open, and see if this adorable X-Men is worth the scratch. So here we have Kitty Pride looking very cute and adorable in the box. And again, as I told you before, I like these Marvel Legends boxes right here because they look very, like, like the X-Men ones rather. You know, because they, they look, I don't know, they just look different. Even though it's the same design as the other Marvel Legends box, I think it's the colors that just bring a nostalgia feeling to me because X-Men always had the like the it was either blue and yellow that was when they were at, with X-Factor or it was even black or yellow when they were X-Men and I mean like it comes in a typical box that you're used to you know let's bring this a little bit closer so you can see what I'm talking about it comes in the typical box that you're used to X-Men Kitty Pride right there nice little art of her and uh, Lockheed right here looking real cute everything's looking great out right here you got the other characters within the series and I have all of them and we're gonna put together we're gonna put together uh, what's his name juggernaut right here because I definitely want to do a comparison with him and my Marvel legend my Marvel select uh, juggernaut we have uh, what's his name Deadpool cable in this line I really enjoy everyone in this line there's not one character well cable was a little bit of a disappointment to me if you watch my previous video you saw he was in there but yeah I enjoyed everybody within this line and I mean, like, you know, it has a nice little product art of her back here with Lockheed on her shoulder and everything like that. You know, a nice little X logo up here. The typical stuff that you expect in, you know, the Marvel Legend boxes that you're getting right now. Um, you know, and it says up here, let me see, it says, With her ability to elude attacks by making herself intangible, Catherine Kitty Pride is an expert in defense. So yeah, we got some good stuff going on here. So let's bust her open and see what's going on. All right, so here we go. Here we go. That right there. And let's go right that right there. Put that up. Open up right here. Wow, and she comes with some good stuff, it looks like. She, she, yeah, Kitty Pride comes with some good stuff. Look at this. She has a bunch of stuff. Wow, look, you got Onslaught's head, which of course, if you read the X-Men series, Onslaught was a collective consciousness of, um, what's his name, Magneto and Xavier. You have Juggernauts. Come on out, come on out, come on out. The Builder piece for Juggernaut, which would be the right arm. Juggernaut Crush! And you have, let's see. Lockheed, the cute little dragon Lockheed. I think if I remember, she got lo she found Lockheed on Asteroid M or something like that. It was some she was fighting with Magneto one time. I remember in the comic book she was fighting with Magneto. And this used to be like Magneto's pet, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. And she ended up keeping him because he used to abuse him and stuff like that. But Lockheed is also like awesome too. He's not as detailed as the Marvel Legends one from back in the day, but he's actually pretty cool. I guess you can sit him on her shoulder. And then you have the cute little, no, you know what, she's not that little. 
Let's put, get these out the way. She's actually not that little. You have Kitty Pride right here. But again, I love the design. And again, look, like I said before, they give different women, like the female characters, they give each one a different body design. Her leg looks a little bit funky right here, but no, that was the way I had it. Okay, so cool, yeah. Wow, she's looking good. Love, I love the yellow and black. I don't know, it's just something about a hero or a villain or whatever that wears yellow and black is just great and great to me. Oh, look at that cute little booty she got there too. Look, nice little booty and everything. This is more like the adult version of Kitty Pride. It's not the child like when she was young or anything like that. I guess they're trying to keep up with the um, current comics and stuff like that. And I mean, like, you know, she looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. Let's go into the articulation of this girl. Her head goes all the way around. She can swing her arms up and down. She has a, what? Does she have a double hinged elbow? Let's see. She has, yeah, she has a double hinged elbow on a ball joint ball joint wrist everything she can twist and all that other stuff like that right there she has a nice little I guess this is the the touch right the touch that I get from you man um and she has um nice little ball joint elbow right there nice little movement going on right there you know nice little look at this yeah, leg goes forward, goes back. She can twist at the thigh. Got a nice little double hinge knee. No twist at the calf. She has an ankle rocker that pivots up and down. It goes a little bit side to side, if you, as you can see. Um, nice little knee bend right there. Same as on the other side over here. This loose belt, which I like. I like the way they did the loose belt. Oh, she has a nice ab crunch as well, too. And the detail and paint looks great on her. Nothing seems to be bleeding on her. Everything seems to be pretty good. I love this booty. Nice booty. Um, she has a cute face scope. Look at it. She has a cute face scope. It's actually pretty cute. The ponytail doesn't move around like on the other ones, which I don't mind. I, sometimes I don't like when the ponytail moves around because it gets in the like way of certain things and stuff like that. But yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty cool. I like this figure. She has great detail. And again, the paint scheme looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. And so I think you can put, can you put lock? Yeah, you can look. You can lock Lockheed behind her neck with the tail right here. You can take this right here, put it around. And he can, I think he can sit on her shoulder like this. Let me see. Come on. Don't be difficult. There we go. Now, see, look how awesome is that? Right out the comic book. Right out the comic book. That is awesome. And, <clears throat> and you know, Lockheed always stayed by her side. She looks awesome. Paint scheme is great. Joints are stiff. Nothing's loose on this gal. She looks phenomenal. I like the way they did her. Now, she's not as small as the Kitty Pride I'm used to, because the Kitty Pride I'm used to was like a petite girl. But, like, I guess this is the adult version of her. And for a lot of you, a lot of people that don't know, she was um, a girlfriend. Her and um, Colossus dated for years. Then they separated, then they got back together. You know, they're kind of like the rogue and gambit thing. She's pretty good. So you know what, let's take a look at it and tell me what you think.
So as a whole, I think she is an amazing figure and I love the way this belt is. They did a nice, like, I love the, 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 the abs that they did right here on her. She's great. I really like the way they did this figure. She looks amazing. I love the female figures. I love the way they do the designs. And she doesn't have the same body sculpt. I like how they differentiate different body sculpts on these female figures. They do the female figures very, very well. I like the gloves on her. The belt is awesome. Again, if I can't mention it, if I haven't mentioned that enough. Um... The leg is a little bit weird right here, but I mean, it's nothing that a blow dryer or a little bit of heat can't fix. But as a whole, she's a great figure. She, I, she definitely will get like a good spot on my X-Men shelf. So, you know, I just want to thank again, again, thank you guys for tuning in, for checking me out, leaving comments, liking, so on and so forth. Join the Facebook page and joining the Facebook page rather than checking out the Instagram and my zaniness on there. I appreciate the company, and you know what? I want you to check out my friend, Press M for Animal. He, he's down in the description below. He does great reviews. He's just starting out, so I mean, like, he's a little, you know, he, he, he's real good. He re He's real good, because he does, like, the import figures. I mean, like, like the Ben Presto stuff and a lot of stuff like that that many people don't review. So, I mean, like, check him out. His name is Press M for Animal. Good friend of mine on Xbox, known him for years, great guy. He'll answer any question you have about the figures that he reviews, so on and so forth. So, I mean, you know, again, I wanna thank you guys for subscribing. I couldn't do it without you. I wanna thank you so much for the many good comments you give me, even the bad ones. Even when you tell me like what I'm doing bad or whatever the case may be, even the likes and dislikes, I love them both. Cause it makes me feel as though I need to improve or I need to do better or I'm doing good or whatever the case may be. So, you know, <clears throat> I just want to thank you again. I can't begin to thank you guys for all the wonderful comments you leave, the stuff you do, the donation, so on and so forth. I couldn't, I would not, I would not be able to do any of this without you guys. And as I told you before, we have something coming up within the next um, next couple of, like I would say like the next couple of weeks. I'm just trying to perfect it to make sure it's right. Um, so that we can have a pretty good show. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. And I think that's about it. I think I covered everything. If I'm not mistaken, if I, if I missed anything, leave a, you know leave some comments down below. Let me know what I missed out on or what I forgot. And again, we're gonna do a few more X-Men so we can put this builder piece together to make uh, the Juggernaut crush. And you know what? We're probably gonna do a um put this on the alternate head of Onslaught as well. So with that being said, that brings this review to a close. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe here on YouTube and share this video. Also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and finally Twitch for more unedited dialogue, news, reviews, and gameplay. Finally, don't forget to hit the donate button as any little bit counts and is greatly appreciated. Not to mention a portion of proceeds go to various charities. I'm Uncle Nerd, thanks for tuning in, and don't forget, if you buy a toy, bust it open. Um, I have nothing to say in terms of her because they never really did anything with her in terms of like the video games or nothing. And the only time I remember seeing her on a cartoon was, um, wait. Lucky, come here!